Hello my loves, it's Kemi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am putting two of my current favorite foundations against each other to see which one is the best one. Ironically, they are both celebrity owned. So let's see which one out of the two is the best and is more suitable for you. This video is likely gonna hurt me because I love these two foundations but we need to know who's on top. For those of you guys that don't know, Rem Beauty is owned by Ariana Grande. This is their sweetener foundation. And House Labs Cosmetics is owned by Lady Gaga. And this is their Triclone Skin Tech foundation. And this one came out two years ago in 2022. And this one came out last year, 2023. Before we jump straight into it, let's talk about the specs of these foundations so we know what we're working with. So let's start off the House Labs foundation since it came out first. This foundation retails for £40, it comes in 51 shades with different undertones as well. Whereas the Rem Beauty retails between £27.50 to £30, depending on what retailer you get it from. If you get it directly from their website, it's £27.50, but you can purchase this from Sephora and Selfridges, which is between £28 to £30. So depending on where you get it, that's the price range of this foundation. It comes in 60 shades, which is nine shades more than the Triclean foundation. The shade I wear in this is Rich 3N, and the shade that I wear in my skin tech foundation is 540 Deep Neutral. Both foundation does claim to be driven by skincare ingredients. Very like good for the skin, very like clean beauty. For this video, I do plan on doing my routine the exact same way I would on a normal day from when I'm wearing makeup. I'm not gonna change everything so you guys can see how I wear this foundation and how it looks on me. Right off the back, I would say that I love both of these foundations. I feel like they are both really good to me. I do wanna say that I do appreciate the shade range of both brands. They really came hard with their shade range like round of applause for both brands because not a lot of brands are doing that and i can appreciate when you know brands are actually trying to cater to different people especially because both brands has a wide range of undertone they haven't just stuck with their the classic undertone which is like neutral golden and cool they actually have like warm golden olive tones peach undertones you can really tell that they actually took their time with these products because some brands would be out here just you know slapping out products and just expecting people to buy it but you can tell that there's a lot of thought and effort has gone into creating this product really really appreciate that from the brands starting off i'm going to go in with my milk hydro grip primer to prime the face i know you guys might be sick and tired of this primer but this primer is so good okay <laughs> i'm gonna massage it on to my face you might see a little white cost that's just because of my moisturizer i did get a lot of moisturizer to look at my skin has been so dry next we are using the instant hydration mist by fresh prep my face with this Okay, so the skin is proud to be looking delicious. I'm not gonna like color correct my under eye or around my mouth area so you guys can see the coverage of these foundations. If I need to go with extra layer, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna use the house labs on this side of my face and then we're gonna do Rem Beauty on this side of my face. So starting off with the house labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. It is a mouthful, the name. In terms of packaging, for those of you guys that care, um, the colorway is the same, but obviously you can see the packaging is different. Uh, this one does feel a little bit more luxury because this is a glass bottle, whereas this is plastic. But I will say that this is more travel friendly than this because if this breaks and drops, we're gonna use one pound and see where it takes us. There we go, that is one pound. The consistency of this foundation is liquid. As you can see, she is rich in color. I personally like to blend my foundation with a brush, so I'm gonna use a brush. As you can see, the foundation is gliding smoothly onto my skin. That one pump actually done really, really well. I would say the foundation is a tad, just a tad bit darker than my skin tone, but it's gorgeous. The finish of it is beautiful. It's giving radiance, it's giving luminosity, it's giving... 
eat me up. It looks delicious. It feels super lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel like I even have a foundation on my skin. I would say this is a true medium coverage foundation, but if you do want that full coverage, you can easily just apply another layer of this foundation on and you would get that full coverage. Now let's go in with the Rem Beauty Sweetener Foundation. Like I mentioned, I am in the shade Rich 3N in this. We're gonna grab one pump of this like so. As you guys can see, the texture of this is not as liquidy as my Tranquil foundation. It comes out quite moussey and airy. It does look thick, obviously, because you guys see it's not budging at all, but it's super, super lightweight on the skin. Off of just first impressions of both foundation, which one do you guys think is the best match for me? Let me know down below. Like I said, I use both of this foundation and I love both of them. Again, using a Kibutsuki brush to blend this out. Again, that one pump is more than enough for this half of my face. I feel like that one pump is actually a bit too much. I feel like I kind of got away with just using that one pump all over my face. The coverage on this is really good. I will say that it is a medium coverage, but it's a high medium. Whereas the Tricolor Foundation is a true mid medium coverage. Right now, comment down below which side you think is best suited for me. Don't ask me because I like both. Even though this comes out quite moussey and the texture looks thick, it's very, very soft on the skin. Both of them are super lightweight, but I will say that the Rem Beauty has a little bit more feels to it. Even though it doesn't feel cakey or heavy on the skin, the Rem Beauty side just looks a little bit too much. Like it's literally covered up everything. It's making my skin not look real. It's giving me like a filter effect. Whereas this is giving me, you know, skin. I know the color match is a little bit weird and my Rem Beauty is, is gonna look lighter right now because it's against a darker foundation. Let's continue. Let's, you know, apply concealers and see how they're performing on either side. On a normal day, I actually don't mix this foundation with any other shades. I use them as is. We are gonna be using exact same products on both sides. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Honey 338. Based on the concealer, I actually like the way it's looking more on my Rem Beauty side. Also because the shade is lighter, my concealer is blending really nicely into it. Don't get me wrong, cousins, I like both products and how they're looking right now. But if I had to choose right now, I'm liking how my concealer on my foundation on my Rem Beauty side looks. It's a little bit more than how it's looking on my skin tech foundation side, but both still gorgeous. To bronze today, we're using my NARS Laguna bronzer in the shade five. I'm just gonna grab that on a blending brush and just apply that straight on. And then to deepen up, we're using my Oma Beauty Flawless IRL Bronzer in the shade Bait. For cream blush today, we're doing our Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. This is in the shade 140 Merlot Moment. Blush is showing a little bit more on my Rem Beauty side than my House Labs, even though I'm going with like with a same amount. But again, that's to be expected because this shade is a ton of light of this shade, so. So now that we have all the cream products on our face, which side are you feeling more? Rem Beauty or House Labs? Okay, so let's start setting. I'm using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. This is in the shade Tan to lightly set my highlighted areas. Now we're going in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Blondie and I've mixed this in with my RCMA Inocular Powder just because the shade is a little bit too yellow for me. Rubbing it on a powder puff. For my face powder, we're using the Morphe Filter Effect Powder. This is in the shade Filter 11. Grabbing that on a powder brush and just setting my entire face with this. So now that we applied the face powder onto my skin, I will say that the Rem Beauty side has toned down. You can still see the glow and the radiance of the foundation, but it's not as much as my House Labs foundation. You can still see, even though I've gone in and like set it, it hasn't completely like dried down. 
even as I'm applying more right here as well, you can still see the glow. I mean, you can see the glow of the foundation on both sides. I just feel like the tracking side is a little bit, just a tad bit more. All right, cousin, so we're back with the full face completed. Honestly speaking, I cannot decide which one looks better. I don't think you guys can even tell that I've got two different foundations on my face right now. Or can you? Let me know down below. I will say one thing I've noticed is that my smile line on my Triclone foundation is starting to peek through compared to my Sweetener foundation by Rare Beauty. Like, there's a little bit more creasing in my smile line on this side, which actually is to be expected because this foundation does claim to be more luminous, be more radiant compared to this foundation, which actually claims to give you a natural matte finish. As you guys saw when I first applied this on, the foundation was nowhere nowhere near a matte finish i don't really know whether we're going with that you definitely have to set the foundation for it to somewhat look matte but just by itself no chance okay no chance with that claim but i will say the rem beauty foundation takes well to powder products compared to my tracker foundation even by applying my powder products on top it was still giving radiant it was still giving glow compared to this one we like kind of tone it down a bit both foundation are water-based foundation as well as they claim to be suitable for all skin types which i can see all skin types getting a good use of this but in my personal opinion from using both two foundation on my face i will say that the track foundation is more catered to people with dry skin and combination skin because it gives that glow it gives that luminosity even after applying powder products on top however with the rem beauty foundation i would say it's more forgiving like powder product that you put on top will keep it matte especially if you can see around this area of my face it's looking matte compared to this area of my face from the Triclone foundation. It's quite hard for me to judge because I literally adore both products and I feel like both products are amazing. I'll give you guys a little pros and cons of them and then you can decide for yourself which one is more suitable for you. The Red Beauty Sweetener Foundation, it is cheaper than the House Labs foundation. You do get more shades in it as well. I feel like people with dry skin might not particularly like this foundation just because once you set it, like all the glow, it's kind of gone so i don't know if you're gonna like it as much but maybe the tracker foundation is more suitable for you whereas people with oily skin because of the texture of the tracker foundation is quite liquidy it might be suitable for you to go with the rem beauty foundation because it's quite moussey you won't be as glowy quickly honestly take a pick for yourself what's your skin type what's your budget and what are you looking for with your foundation. Do you want that luxury feel to it? Do you want it to be more travel friendly? Like I mentioned earlier, both foundation has skincare ingredients in them. Both of them give that hydrating, blur skin. Amazing coverage on both of them, but the Rem Beauty has a more fuller coverage. A little goes along with both products, but the Rem Beauty, one pump can literally do your entire face, whereas the House Labs, a pump and a half, would do your entire face. So that is pretty much it for today's video, cousins. Let me know which one out of the two do you prefer? And let's see who comes up on top. I'll put a poll in this video as well. So get voting to see which foundation is the best one. So that is all for today's video, cousins. Thank you, cousins, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, cousins. Mwah.